Hello everyone. Today I'm going to share my kitchen makeover with you all. This budget friendly and much needed DIY was a long time coming. So stay tuned. We started by removing all the cabinets and drawers and their hardware. This also included all the cabinets in the bathrooms too. I didn't want to unload all of my cabinet shelves so I just covered the fronts of all the cabinets with plastic. We labeled all the cabinets and we took the hardware and put them in sandwich bags and put them inside their respective cabinets to try and keep it in an organized fashion. Once we were done removing all the cabinets in the drawer fronts, we placed them all in the garage and scrubbed them down. The ones on the walls and the ones in the garage. And again, this also included the cabinetry in the bathrooms. And here we started sanding. We sanded all the cabinets inside the house and the ones that were in the garage. That was the hardest part. In the future, I'd like to give that liquid sandpaper a try and see if it's any easier than doing a traditional sanding. This part was tough. And once we were finished sanding, we wipe them down. Ah, next, on to the priming. We used uh, the Kilt primer and we spray primer on all the cabinets, uh, the ones in the kitchen and the ones in the garage, and we did about two coats. We let it dry for several hours in between the two coats, and that took us a couple days to do. We put um, a tarp, a painter's, the plastic. Um, we did it in the entire garage. We covered up everything that was in there so that we could spray paint. We knew we wanted to spray paint outside. And this was a light sanding that we did in between the priming. We ended up running out of the spray can primer and we ended up switching over to, to rolling it on because we had so many cabinets. Hey guys, let's connect on social media, on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. We decided to pick up the Wagner spray painter for the cabinets. We thought, we thought that that would give us a really nice finish on the cabinet doors. As I said, that, that spray painter really changed the game for us. I love the way it turned out. We used the Sherwin-Williams uh, Reflection Gray. I'm glad we got it. It made the difference on those cabinets. And I love the drawer pulls that I found. I ordered these from Wayfair. I will link those down below in the description box as well. They are the, the plexiglass with the chrome uh, decorative accent pieces on uh, both ends. I was also able to take the small cabinetry above the microwave. We took the panel out of the back of the cabinetry and added a mirror overlay. I love the way that turned out. On day four, we started the backsplash. All the cabinets had been painted and put back on. Um, I got my marble tile from the Mosaic Warehouse. I ordered that online. Uh, it took me a while to find it, but once I did, I was very happy with what we had. We also picked up a tile cutter uh, from Home Depot. 
it did a great job for making straight cuts. But the Dremel tool uh, was definitely worth its weight in gold uh, because we use that to make the detailed cuts around the outlets and things like that. covers from um, wallplates.com. I'll link that down below as well. That cutting board is something that I DIY'd myself. I wanted to do a detailed design behind the oven, so I'm still trying to work that out, so stay tuned for that. That detailed uh, design behind the oven is to come. Most of the decor that you see here, my faux trees uh, and my picture frames, those I got online from Pottery Barn and the marble planter pot that it sits in, I got those from Hobby Lobby. So this was the beginning process for us. Next is going to be the countertops and the flooring. So make sure you stay tuned for that too. Yeah, we love it. We love the way it turned out. So thanks for tuning in guys. I hope you enjoy my DIY kitchen makeover. If you did, leave me a comment because I'd love to hear from you. And I'd also appreciate a thumbs up. And make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. One of my tips is do not skip the step of deglossy and priming the cabinets. That is just an absolute must. You can't get around it. I am using this tray that I created uh, when I participated in the um, Girls Can Use Power Tools too. I made this beautiful tray. Uh, it's a gray tray and I made it out of MDF board and I stenciled on a medallion in the center. I knew it was a large tray while I was making it, but I never knew that it could also double as a noodle board for my stove top. And I'm so glad that I even got a chance to paint the laundry room. And of course you guys remember when I redid, uh, when I refinished the kitchen table. So as you can see, that goes in quite well with my new bar stools and my new kitchen table chairs. And now that you've made it to this point in my video, click one of the video links at the end to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.